Ever wondered about a show that blended laughter, shocks, and a touch of sadness all in one? Enter the 1978 TV series that had audiences hooked from the start. Picture this an alien Mork, played by the iconic Robin Williams, lands on Earth and ends up rooming with Mindy. A simple premise, yet it unfolds into a roller coaster of funny, shocking, and occasionally heart wrenching moments. But here's the kicker we've got some behind the scenes stories that will leave you amazed. Stay tuned because we're about to spill the beans on facts that will make you see the show in a whole new light. Can you share a personal story of how this series impacted your life? We're betting there are some unforgettable moments you've experienced while watching. Now, let's turn the tables. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic TV gem? We're all ears and would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Keep watching as we uncover more about the show that left an indelible mark on many. Funny, shocking, sad Mork and Mindy has it all. Your stories could be the missing piece to this entertaining puzzle. Share away and let's reminisce together. Upon revisiting a few episodes from the last season of the TV series, I found it to be much wittier than my recollection. I realized that I had overlooked or dismissed some of the clever references in Robin Williams' lines and improvisations during my initial viewing in the early 80s. In retrospect, the humor was sharp and frequently hilarious, maintaining a tasteful tone uncommon in contemporary shows facing a shortage of comedic material. It seems that my adolescent I'm too cool for this phase may have influenced my perception back then. As others have pointed out, Pam Dauber brought a perky charm to her role without veering into saccharine territory. Her on-screen chemistry with Robin Williams had a certain wholesome quality. Noteworthy guest appearances such as Jonathan Winter's inspired turn added to the show's appeal. The presence of various well-received guest stars reflected a trend reminiscent of the eagerness seen in the Batman series 15 years prior. The writing, whether scripted or influenced by Williams' improvisation, showcased inspired comedic moments. The explicit license granted to Winters and Williams for improvisation during the last season, as mentioned by Conrad Jannies, sheds light on the positive tone observed in the episodes I recently viewed. Contrary to my earlier impression, the last season appeared to be a relative feast of comedy, especially when compared to the current landscape of sitcoms since the early 2000s. It's worth noting that the show's shift in humor, with Mork's alien nature as the early focal point, evolved into a more Earth-friendly character by the fourth season. This transition allowed Wood for great jibes on various topics, showcasing Williams' comedic prowess. Hats off to Antenna TV for preserving these tasteful and uplifting gems of comedy. The series stands leagues above generic American sitcoms from around 2000, offering a refreshing alternative. I'm now downloading episodes from all the seasons to delve deeper into the show's comedic brilliance, appreciating it anew. In a bid to improve viewership, the conclusion of the series took an unconventional turn. The latter part of the final episode was filmed in 3D, aiming to add a unique dimension to the show. However, faced with a cancellation of the series, ABC chose to broadcast it in 2D, opting for an alternate episode as the series finale. Interestingly, the casting process had its share of peculiar moments. Comedian Jay Leno tried out for the role of Ramo da Vinci. As per Leno, an ABC executive bluntly informed him that his appearance would frighten little children, leading to an unexpected twist in the casting choices. The unpredictable nature of the show wasn't confined to its on-screen antics. Robin Williams, renowned for his improvisational skills, frequently veered off script during filming. To accommodate his spontaneity, writers deliberately left gaps in the show's scripts, allowing Williams to inject his brand of humor into the scenes. This backstage revelation sheds light on the dynamic creative process behind the scenes. The show's writers adapted to the unpredictability of Williams' performances, resulting in a blend of scripted brilliance and spontaneous comedy that added a unique flavor to Mork and Mindy. In summary, the series' final moments took a 3D detour, Jay Leno's audition had an unexpected outcome, and Robin Williams' improvisational flair left an indelible mark on the show's comedic landscape. As the second season of the TV series progressed, Fred and Cora took an unexpected break. They were written out of the show because they didn't quite match the younger audience's taste. The reason given for their absence was a touring orchestra, which didn't sit well with viewers. However, in the third season, both Fred and Cora returned, with Cora making only occasional appearances. 
Orson, Mork's Orkin Superior, was a nod to Orson Welles and his famous 1938 CBS radio broadcast of War of the Worlds. The name Choice was a tribute to Welles, who famously played Martians landing in New Jersey for the American audience. Mork and Mindy wasn't the only Happy Days spin-off set in contemporary times. Alongside it were Blansky's Beauties and Out of the Blue. The trio aimed to capture the essence of the present day, each with its own unique take. As the series concluded, a surprising twist awaited the viewers. In an unconventional attempt to increase viewership, the final episode took a 3D turn, adding a unique dimension to the show's conclusion. However, facing cancellation, ABC chose a 2D broadcast with an alternate episode as the series finale. The casting process had its quirks, with Jay Leno's audition for the role of Ramo da Vinci taking an unexpected turn. Leno was told that his appearance might scare children, leading to an unexpected twist in the casting choices. Behind the scenes, the unpredictability extended beyond casting. Robin Williams, known for his improvisational skills, often went off script during filming. Writers adapted by intentionally leaving gaps in the scripts, allowing Williams to inject his humor spontaneously. This behind-the-scenes revelation sheds light on the dynamic creative process that blended scripted brilliance with spontaneous comedy. To sum up, the show dealt with character breaks, paid tribute to Orson Welles, and stood alongside other contemporary Happy Days spin-offs. The unconventional 3D turn in the series finale and Jay Leno's unexpected casting outcome added interesting layers to the show's narrative. Meanwhile, Robin Williams' improvisational style left a lasting impression on the comedic aspects of Mork and Mindy. Amid the hilarity of Mork and Mindy's unfolding storyline, an interesting fact surfaces about Mork's unique space helmet. Surprisingly, it's a modified version of the combat helmet worn by Michael Ansara in the Season 2 premiere of The Outer Limits, titled Soldier. This subtle reference to sci-fi history adds an unexpected touch to the extraterrestrial character's outfit. The show's origin is equally fascinating. Gary Marshall, the producer, got the idea after his son, inspired by the Star Wars trend, suggested a TV series featuring an alien. However, Mork's character and traits can be traced back to happy days. Director Jerry Paris drew inspiration from the Dick Van Dyke show It May Look Like a Walnut, where a sci-fi dream featured Danny Thomas as an alien. These diverse influences highlight the eclectic mix that shaped the beloved character. A poignant behind-the-scenes moment emerges during the filming of Mork and Mindy Got a Run Part 1. The day after the passing of Robin Williams' friend John Belushi, Williams, emotionally affected, broke down during rehearsals. This revelation adds a layer of humanity to the otherwise lively world of Mork and Mindy. In the realm of unpredictability, the series finale took an unconventional turn by incorporating 3D elements. However, faced with cancellation, ABC opted for a 2D broadcast with an alternate episode as the conclusion. The casting process itself witnessed peculiarities, with comedian Jay Leno's audition leading to an unexpected twist due to concerns about frightening children. Amid character breaks, unexpected 3D detours, and casting quirks, the improvisational genius of Robin Williams remained a constant. His off-script moments, accommodated by intentional gaps in the scripts, added a spontaneous and unique flavor to the comedic landscape of Mork and Mindy. This behind-the-scenes revelation sheds light on the dynamic creative process that blended scripted brilliance with improvisation. In essence, Mork and Mindy transcended the typical sitcom landscape, weaving together influences from sci-fi history, happy days, and the spontaneous genius of Robin Williams. The show, with its quirks and unpredictability, offers a captivating journey through the world of comedy.